Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode number 38, I believe it is. <laughs> I can no longer be sure because as many of you probably realized, my titles have been a little bit off lately and one episode was missing. Now, I did find the missing episode and I wasn't uh I wasn't sure how to handle it if I should rename all the other episodes to the numbers following it. Um, I decided to keep the naming system the way it was before, not to confuse anyone, and have added it as episode 31.5. I hope that's okay for everyone to go back and check it out if you want. Um, I did change all the titles uh, to fitting names and I hope everything is okay now. Um, my, my deepest apologies for what happened. As a little bit of a makeup here I'm going to uh, be recording um, I'm going to be recording a lot today and uh, I'm going to release two extra episodes today and um, then from tomorrow everything will be normal again I hope that's okay with everybody uh, my, my apologies I don't know how I screwed that up but I managed to screw it up so it happened it happened okay with that being said let's jump back into the game um, I'm not going to put down any more food over here because it's raining, so it's just going to spoil anyway. I don't need to worry about the water. He's going to be crafting. He can also be crafting. Stash will go hit things with an axe. She could use some treatment. There's no harvesting. There's a lot of harvesting over here though. It is planted, so what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, put her here. We are going to put Moira here and have her treat her. Please, oh, sorry. Do focus on her wounds. And while we are at it, how about, we, uh, <laughs> excuse me, but it's, it's been a couple days and I'm not 100% certain if anyone has... Severe bleeding. Okay, she got bleeding for two days. That's not too bad. Um, she just got the sprained foot for one day. I think we'll be fine. Okay, so I think we're all good. This works, this works, this works, this works. Okay, I think we're good. However, we do need to focus on stone. Because we do need to get a lot of stone within the next day. So, whoop, whoop, whoop. here we go, and let's go forward. Again, it's it's been a couple of days, so um, I hope I didn't forget anything. I hope I haven't forgotten about anything, but I, I'm pretty sure we're good. Uh, if you do remember, we do need more Orica beads because apparently you need an almost unlimited supply. We do obviously need the stone. When we paid off our last tribute, um, he was pre pretty mad at us, if I remember correctly, that we didn't give him anything. So we probably want to overdo it if possible this time and maybe give him 25 stone or something. Though probably he wants 30 stone for himself. Uh, like 30 altogether with 10 for himself. I don't know, but I'm assuming that's how much he wants. And I don't think I could even do that. Um, we're gonna have to see. The problem is that my stone camp, if I remember correctly, it's already somewhat damaged. Because it regrows so qu uh, slowly with only 1-2%. to 2 So we're gonna have a problem there. But we do have a lot of wood. He's he's doing good on the wood. I, I appreciate that. I mean, it really helps that we've upgraded almost everything wood related. Um, that, that surely helps. Here we go, we got a new place, a little bit of forest, I don't think she will make a second place, but that's okay. Uh, we can repair this, can repair this, but we need to make more rope. Alright, let us see. You need to go hunt. We do need... Uh, more seeds and we do need more hemp we don't need the healing plants badly right now but I think I prefer the idea of um, 
I think I prefer the idea of getting everything and just have a little bit of a backlog of healing herbs. Okay, that's not, not that much of a change, so I'm gonna let her do this. And we're going to check out the place. There's some healing herbs here. There's some fish here. I think this was sickness for food, if I remember correctly. Which would be okay with me. But actually, we, we have quite a few places with food that we can use. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's a trap shield. Check the rune. Come on, you can do it, Mora. The rune is big enough for you to read it without putting you in danger. You've encountered this rune before. It's used for the sound, the. But you know the old father didn't sacrifice himself for mere letters. No, he knew runes carry secrets and ancient wisdom. That's a hot one. It's only 75%. I think uh, yeah, through the hidden meaning of the rune, it's you. Uh, it's only 75%, even though she has 100 in wisdom. But I mean, we, we didn't get too much from screwing it up. Here we go. Remember learning this rune is called Thurizaz. This is Thor's rune, representing his struggle to defeat Thor's giants using both strength and mind. You've seen warriors asking for the rune to be carved on their weapons, helping to get the strength to protect those they hold dear. you also heard of sorcerers using the rune to evoke demons from the underworld, as the rune is shao edged and three-cornered like the giant's Hrungir's thorny heart. No matter what the rune means, you should follow Thor's steps, use both brain and muscles to overcome any hardship. Well, let's do just that. Uh, let's check the outer circle traps. Both strength and wisdom. We don't really have a strong smart woman. She is the middle thing, but she has no agility whatsoever. How about you try? How about you try, man? The traps are all entangled together. Some on the ground and some are hanging from the trees. There might even be some more hidden in the foliage. You don't know why, but this side doesn't threaten you. Even seeing remnants of human beings scattered on the floor, you can't help but feel challenged. We're going to try to understand the traps. No, some ropes are connected to traps hidden under leaves. Third, on the foliage, uh, foliage of several ropes, activate the same trap. That's nasty. Other ropes are merely there to make you trip and fall on the trap ones. One thing sure, whoever made this was intent on protecting the shield. But you seem to have noticed the pattern. The blood-tainted ropes are decoys and obstacles, whereas the untainted ones are connected to traps. Deactivate the traps or so throw, um, so throw something. We're going to deactivate it. Hey, we even get one. God damn it. You dagger in hand, you start working on the activation mechanism of a nearby trap. It's so small, it's a pain to work with. It's time to get pissed off. You move a blade a bit too much on the right and hear an ominous click behind you. A branch full of strange looking flowers swings over your head before swinging back into its initial position. The greenish pollen rains down on you, you hiss from pain. The spores are burning your skin, creating small blisters. The burning feeling grows bigger by the second. You jump away from the ropes and roll on the floor to get rid of that awful burning powder. This is the second over the 70% uh, check we screwed up. Are you kidding me? It's still... Uh, he's gonna have to go to the healer anyway, so we're gonna understand him again and... We're going to deactivate him again. It's an almost 80% that we missed. Um, mm -hmm. A bit of sweat rolls on your forehead as you hear the click. You freeze in fear, then a piece of metal falls off the bone it was nested in, and you sign a relief. One less. More to go. You advance to the inner circle of traps. Let's check the inner circle of traps. <sighs> Frick. I don't know what you tried again. Why not? You have to go to the healer anyway. You're close to your goal, but the last circle of traps prevents you from going closer to the shield. We're going to understand it again. Try to find out the location of the activation mechanism belonging to the next trap on your way towards the shield. Follow the rope up the foliage. It's connected to another rope with weights. It looks like you'll need to maintain the weight higher than a certain height if you want a trap to not uh, blow it in your face. It's deactivated. You can't really access the trap mechanism in the foliage, but you do spot some weakness you can explode on the ground. The rope links the trap to the foliage to a bone on the ground. There. It is tied with a sliding knot, and the rope is fastened to another bone on the ground. You untie the rope from its bone and make a knot that should prevent the weight from moving if you trip on the activation rope. You don't have to worry about dodging the hanging rope as you walk towards the shield. Hey, I got a knot master. 
Okay, now I need high agility, I think. Oh no, it's constitution. But it's a dodging. That sounds like an agility check to me, but okay. Rope secure the shield inside three branches. The branches are very thorny. You won't be able to get out of this without a few scratches. You do not spot any more traps, but it doesn't put your mind at rest. I don't know why, but the atmosphere around the shield is suddenly heavy. I'm going to cut the ropes and retrieve the shield. So knife approaches. You can't believe your eyes. The thorns are twitching and extending towards you. Is it a sign from a god? Did you fail that chance? But Thor you used your wits to overcome the traps. Was it not good enough? Oh, because we always picked intelligence checks. God damn it. Step backwards, trying to get away from the thorns, but they keep following you, growing in speed. Circle one of your arms and ankles. As they scratch your skin, start to feel dizzy. Poison? This would be just your luck. You try to get away, but only receive more scratches. Eventually, you collapse. Oh, frick. Wake up after what seems to be a few hours later. <laughs> You're resting against the tree, away from the traps. Strikes you as the absence of scratch marks on your skin, and any sign of your progress through the traps. Was it all a dream? Oh, frick, we have to do it again. We have to do it all again. Go ahead. And we're gonna use wisdom here. And we're gonna break the traps here with constitution. Now we're going to get the shield. Um, yeah, do it again. You can't believe your eyes. The thorns are tricking and he's standing towards you. So, uh, you used your strength to overcome the traps. Was it not good enough? But we also used intelligence. We used both. Step backwards, trying to get away. Ha. Huh. I'm... Okay, I'm going to deactivate the inner and the outer I've... I'm, I'm confused what I'm doing right now. Come on, we can do it. As enough approaches, you can't believe your eyes. The thorns are retracting into the wood, leaving you safe access to the shield. This is a sign from the gods you can't tell. I feel that you've overcome one of the values of the rune somehow. So now I've settled the ropes, you realize this shield can't be used in battle. The paint job did a fine job camouflaging the moldy wood. What a pity. The rim and shield boss would have aged the same way if they were made of metal. It's that the craftsman used whetstone. Or choice. You just risk your life for nothing. Out of exacerbation, you kick the shield, breaking it in three pounds. Strange looking gold meat rolls out of the broken shield boss. Huh. You didn't waste all of your time. At least we got one more gold meat. Only one more, and. We can help Freya with her addiction problem. Um, I kind of just want to heal him at this point, I think. Put you here. I'm going to put more right here. By the way, she leveled up. Stealth. She doesn't need more intelligence. She has 100. Health plus 4 AP minus 2. That is useless on her. Agility. Let's just give her more agility. I don't know. For when there's a combined skill check. Because all the others were kind of useless. Um, you can do this. Don't don't focus on anything. How about that? J just make him happy. I do want to make more rope, but we're gonna have a look here. There's so many things I need. <laughs> There's so many things I need and I want. Um, Fatigue for characters while exploring is no problem. This I want to get soon. Actually, for that I just need one more rope and then I have it. But I do want the pens, for which I also need more rope. Alright. Increased gardening efficiency would be awesome. Less injury during hunt would also be nice. Training for three characters, eh. What do we have here? 
Just more water storage. I think our water storage is kind of okay right now. It's, it's not awesome. It's not awesome. You know what? We're, we're gonna make more rope and we're gonna use that. Unfortunately, right now I can only make one. And how about you right now switch to hemp? I just want you to get me huge amounts of hemp. Because I want to start building the pens. Just gonna get us a little bit of food. We're gonna be shot somewhat low on food though. I, I, I could send her to cook and her to gather this, I suppose. I know all of you always want me to cook more. I'm, I'm still not 100% uh, convinced that cooking is the best thing to do. I really am not. Um, let's do this, do that, and maybe make a little bit of soup. The soup is... it's not that much... okay. We're gonna make a little bit of soup here. Okay, let's just go next. We do have a lot of vegetables, so we will be fine anyway. Okay, his injury is green, his sickness is green. That's all I want. I want it to be green, so he can work again tomorrow. Fortunately, her depression has gone yellow. I basically would try to keep everyone in the green area with everything. I think that's the best thing to do. Like, you, you don't need to reach zero with everything. That's usually impossible and usually not advisable anyway, so... How many crab meals did we make? Yeah, I think we actually made none. Nice, that was actually a good haul for us. But I mustn't forget to light the fire, otherwise we're gonna have somewhat of a problem here. <laughs> just somewhat, just just a teeny wincy little bit of a problem. Okay. We have more than enough food right now, we arguably have too much. I might have somewhat gone overboard here on the whole food thing. As you have so much, I'm considering, even though it's raining, I'm considering using the dryer because it's going to spoil anyway. So I might as well try. Mm. By the way, because somebody asked me why I'm not using my perishable foods, I'm just saving them for a dark day because why not, right? <laughs> why not? It, it seems smarter to me in a case like this to keep a little bit of the food around uh, for f whenever we don't have the possibility than do anything else. Pfft. Working all day long in these conditions, that's so hard. That's what she said. And I'm so hungry, I just want to put something in my mouth. Anything. That's what she said. Oh, Moira. And I dreamed that we had so much water that I could shower my face with the precious juice. That's what she said. No, I'm not proud of that one. Yeah, you shouldn't be proud of that one, Mora. When I see how Bjorn is t taking all we have, I just want to shoot my arrow on his big fat ass. That's what uh, he said? I... what? Why are you smiling? Are you mocking me? <laughs> Come on, Kira. You, you're not that oblivious. You're not that oblivious. Don't even pretend. Don't even pretend like you didn't get what she was on about. Okay, only six people get dehydrated, which is nice. It's a 66% haul. There we go. He's just chilling. Okay, she's getting pretty hungry, otherwise everyone's pretty much in a good spot. She gets this one. Actually, I should have given that to her. Uh, sure, take the good meal. Take this one. Take this one. Uh, take that. Take that. Take that. Oh, frick. You take this one. You take that. You take that, and everyone's happy. You can have one more fruit. Because why the hell not? It's not like we don't have it. Actually, let, let's give everyone here one more fruit. Mm, I don't want to waste a full soup on her. Ah, awesome. How did she solve 9 hunger? Oh, plus 10 to its decrease. How did... 
If I look at this, I shouldn't have been able to overdo it. So how did a 4 to 8 solve 9 hunger? But I'm happy with it. I'm not going to complain. Um, those two could have a drink together. Or those two, or whatever. She got rid of his brain food. I mean, everyone will slightly decrease depression over... Oh, frick, she got the Portland wound. God damn it. That's exactly what I was afraid of. No one's even remotely tired, sweet. Um, yeah, she's gonna have to be healed and then I'm going to have to take Mora and she's gonna need a drink for the second half of the day. That's okay. So we're gonna go here, you're going to take care of her because we got unlucky. She She's not high on this, but I want to get rid of the sprained foot. No, the, uh, of the pearl and wound, uh, my apologies. Mmm... Go here and craft me. We can't craft the dryer yet. But we could craft... What What, what was it what, what I wanted? Oh, right. The additional room. You go here. You you find me something to craft. Well, we can always make more sage potions. That's never a bad choice, I think. A um, couple more arrows wouldn't be too bad. Sure, you make me a sage potion. We have quite a few of them actually. We'll be fine. How many? How much did rot? Oh, not too much actually. Only two of those. I'm okay with that. Again, none of this is a good outcome, but it's not like I'm gonna cry over it. Technically, I don't need to fetch water today. And since I'm a lazy person, I don't feel like I want to. Mm, the gun is probably fine. Yeah, it's fine. You go hunt me some meat now and I'm going to cook it on the second day. Because I know how much you guys like cooking. It's how much I love you. Um, all's good except for the mining camp. And unfortunately the mining camp is the only one that should be bad. But nah, nothing I can do about that right now. So we're just, we're just gonna call it a day. This is a good round. Also we need to go get more healing points. Please be rid of the poor land wound. Frick. Frick, 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 frick. I should have waited one more day for the bleeding to stop anyway. Um, and then done it. Because we heal more than that part. Uh, more than the poor land wound anyway. So there wasn't really a need to do it right now. I think she only had like 17 hurt and we're healing for like 30. So she could have gone through a night with a pearl and wound. We could have healed tomorrow. That would have been the smarter choice. If I was a smarter man, that is definitely what I would have done. Okay, she got us a little bit of fruit, which is nice. I'm actually gonna have a look at the prone wound if I don't want to just have it run out. I probably want to heal it. I have in the back of my head that we need to heal the prolent wounds. But I'm gonna have a look at it. If it only gives like 10 injury together, um, I'm just gonna let it run. Like, why not? It's an encounter. Sweet. Encounter means free stuff. Well, not necessarily free. It's usually stuff in exchange for being hurt but that's okay um, do I need evasion stance not really he's the only one that can attack her he's the only one let's do this up oh. friggity frick okay I, I can't go evasion stance after all uh, do this I forgot I move up it's it's been a, a while <laughs> for that, <laughs> and I'm an idiot. So if you combine these two things, uh, my apologies. You know, those two need to go for Bloodwood right now, but he might go for Carry. I hope he does, and I hope he also goes for. I hope he goes for Knut, but he might can also go for Bloodwood. She can take a bit. Yeah, it only gives her damage resistance, which is okay. And you yell now because I want Carrie to have the buff. And then just bull charge. Which should push her back. Sweet. That means everyone can attack the back row now. And you end your turn because that gives you six tomorrow. Meaning two times swinging or three times bull rushing. 
which is probably the right choice with you. Um, she definitely needs to hit someone in the face, so you do this. We don't really need to protect anyone, so we're just gonna keep going. Like, there's no point in guarding Knut. And they can't really go for Carrie, and Carrie has her evasion, so I'm just gonna keep attacking. And I always want to attack once with her to get the, um, with the left one, to get the damage resistance. So if I only have 4 HP after that, attacking twice with that I think is the better call than attacking once with the 2 2 3. I wish you would have stayed back there. So I could have rain of arrowed all of them. Um, you know what? Let's kill him because that way I don't have to go into evasion stance again. Uh, nice. I don't need to go into evasion stance. If I do the you're next, I'm moving up and I'm gonna stand in the front row, which I don't want because then she can hurt me. So we're just going to end the turn here and waste both AP. I mean, in the one AP we get next turn, but the other AP is wasted. Okay, she did not get um, additional uh, damage resistance. So I'm going to yell so Bloodwood can. because she can attack three times. Um, Plus 50% accuracy all three times will be nice. That gives me four. I'm just going to bull charge twice. I think that's better than one melee strike. Yeah, it definitely is. And she can kill her. Damn it! <laughs> you failed me, Bloodwit. You failed me. That just leaves me with Elite Nasuke. We're gonna come out of this battle without having taken any damage. That's awesome. I honestly believe that even if he crits, he's not going to do enough damage. Uh, we're just going to shoot him twice. I, I just want to push out some Daka here. Uh, you know, if I was you, I would run for my life at this point. You probably don't want to stand your ground here, friend. This is not a good moment to stand your ground. Um, I'm not even going to yell. He's just going to keep bashing at him. Uh, I actually could have done this one. Not that it matters. But Here we go. Victory! Free stuff, free crab meals, a little bit of fabric, one hemp, two pearls, one rope. Well, the stone is kind of nice, everything else, eh. It, it wasn't a good haul. It was not a good haul. I'm, I'm not... I'm not gonna sing about the happiness I've uh, lived through. You go here. Just drink with her. Who cares? We can dry some of the fruit. Dry some of the meat. Also, we're running out of salt. Keep it like that. Don't want to throw it out. We're going to take blood wood. Put it in here. Choose a recipe. We still have a lot of this stuff. So we're going to make cooked meals. Sure. That will be just fine. intensity will be fine though I need to do this anyway so I might as well that's fine I don't really need more meat right now and because she already is a hurt and you get hurt when you hunt I'm gonna take her out and she's gonna do something else for me uh, where, where's the wild girl I why don't here Mm, just give me some hemp. I actually always want to use this one with two people if possible. You know what, Kise, how about you just help here? Yeah, I, I, I prefer this. Let's go next. Uh, actually, no, let's not. Let's check the place. Scrawny Smug Warrior. This house back here, it always means it's one of Beyond's men. And I'm assuming that's gonna lead to a big battle. And I'm still somewhat scared of the big battles. So how about we don't do that? How about how about we stay away? But now we know the location of all the fingers. We know all the fingers. Um, 
I always say she's such a great... They're all great fighters, except for him. He's kind of garbage. But for everyone else, it says they're great fighters. Um... Something's broken. Oh, I probably shouldn't have spent the stone on that, but eh, it's okay. We still have five days and we already got half of it. I'm actually feeling somewhat decent here. I think it's gonna end well. Um, I want to point out that before I get the 10th person, um, I will want to upgrade at least two more stations to two people. Or get the pens. Anyway, um, before I ne get the next person, I do want more things to do because right now I am basically always short on work for my people. I feel like I'm... Yeah, exactly. I, I'm short on work for my people. Let's just keep it exactly at that. So, um... I think I want to upgrade the fishing station actually because then we get way more food. And I think if you use two people here, you still use the same amount of bait. And I know it deteriorates at the same speed, and I think you do need uh, use the same amount of bait. So in that case, we basically just double our fish output, and that would be pretty awesome. It's an airship. We've seen this before, so I'm gonna make it quick. I'm not gonna read everything out because we we've been here. Uh, we can use the wisdom to inspect the ground. Going to light the fire. I think it's a cooking thing. What? Yeah, we're going to perform the ritual. Um, oh, we need a fish for it. No, wait. I don't need it a fish. My bad. The the fi <laughs> you can use it to r immediately roast a fish if you have, but. What you needed to throw is a stone, and then some salt. And we get an ancient knowledge. Here we go. Sweet. I was, I'm sorry I was going through that so quickly, but I don't want to read out things 50 times. I think that just ruins the pace of what I do. So, um, I think it's more fun this way. We're going to end the day. Hey Eric, I found some beer today. Want to share? I can't say no. Thanks, Mora. Yeah, we get some beer. Oh, you thank me. That's what we do in the family. Skull. Yes, sweet. I keep on asking myself, who are those men who burned our home? Hagbard. What? They were Hagbard's men. Hagbard? Like in Hagbard, Thor's hammer? That's what you're saying? Yes. The own brother of the Jarl? Wow. I would never have guessed. And how would you know what Hagbard's men look like? I know it, that's all. Hmm. I ran with him once, when I was young and foolish. I see. And he knew this the whole time and didn't tell us anything. Why? What could would they have that have done to you? Them or any other doesn't change anything. No, but it's a piece of the puzzle. If I can tell all the pieces, I may finish it. She gets riddles over for four days. She gets inquisitive as a negative trait, I assume. Forever. Sweet. Just for always. I love it when I get traits I can never do anything about. At least I don't know. Like, I also have these cursed traits on a lot of my people. That, that just stay with me for all eternity. Tomorrow we're gonna have to start get fetching water again. We have a lot of good meals. These meals are actually even <laughs> slightly too good for my people. Like, if your people aren't hungry, like, my people aren't hungry right now, um, you actually don't need this even. Usually I'm wasting. See? I've wasted some. Wasted. I've wasted, yeah. These are even too good. I mean, it, it, it's not bad to have them. Don't, 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 don't misunderstand me. But um, here we go. Actually, this is a higher rot chance, so we're gonna take these. And that's it. Then we can feed some crab meals, I guess. Sure. But I do want them to actually spoil for fish bait. I think it's actually better to have them spoil for fish bait. 
because they give so little and they do give a little bit of sickness and they don't give a whole lot of food so I think it's actually better to have them um, spoil into crab meat, uh, into fish bait. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna cut the episode here. Yes, we got a storm. I mean, that means everything will break and we will need to spend some of our hard-earned stone on it to fix it. But it means also I don't have to care about water. Anyway, I will see you in the next episode. Uh, sorry again for the mix-up with the episodes before. Um, and I hope you're still enjoying the series. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone.